Rob here, and I have in my hands the CoolPad Quattro 4G phone from Metro PCS. As you guys know, as soon as I get it in my hands, I get the video out ASAP. And again, that's why I'm recording from my car. Um, it seems like a decent phone. It's got a um, it's got a pretty decent display. It's a it's a four inch display, so it's going to be uh, right around the same size as the LG Connect. Uh, although the phone itself looks much larger than the Connect, and it's just because of the design. It's got more room up here, and obviously more room down here at the bottom of the phone. That's why it makes it look so large. It almost looks the same size as the Samsung Galaxy uh, Light Ray. Um, it isn't running on ice cream sandwich, which I'm kind of surprised of. It's uh, running off of 2.3.7 uh, Android gingerbread. Uh, it transitions, it seems to be pretty smooth. It's got a 1 gigahertz Cortex A8 processor, and it's a, again, it's a single core. It's not a dual core processor, so you're not going to get the same speeds as you do from like the LG Connect or the new uh, LG Motion, although. There's not a whole heck of a lot of lag here. Uh, it does come with a uh, two gigabyte memory card uh, in the phone. And the internal memory though on this phone, I, I have to be honest, is relatively low. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I go into the memory, you'll see available space internal storage is only 167 megabytes. Uh, as comparison to the LG Motion, which has over five gigabytes <clears throat> of internal memory. The phone itself has, it has a decent look and feel. It kind of has a shiny black uh, edge around it. I do like the way that the back looks. It has kind of a funky design to it. It's got these lines going in it, and in some of these sections, it's got like a, a texture to it. Uh, it does have uh, only a 3.2 megapixel camera does have a flash and it does have a forward-facing VGA camera so if you want to do Tango or Skype or uh, any of the other uh, FaceTime uh, apps you can do that on this phone it does transition like I said pretty smoothly um, it does have the regular stereo uh, headset jack right up here on the top 3.5 millimeter for listening to music or watching videos the power key is right up here in the corner the volume is set in the middle left side of the phone and on the right side of the phone it does have a dedicated camera key right here and it has the power uh, micro USB power charger port right in the bottom right hand corner of the phone. Some people may want this phone because they just need that larger screen. Uh, some people are just so used to having the larger screens now that they may, may decide to go with this phone. Um, my personal opinion is I, I really do love Ice Cream Sandwich. And even though it's been an adjustment for me to get used to the size of the LG um, Motion, uh, I really, really, really do love the software. I'm not aware of any software update coming out for this phone uh, for Ice Cream sandwich so I really can't say anything uh, at this point right now in regards to that I'm just changing the keyboards to show you the different styles right now in terms of text messaging um, looks like there's three different keyboards for you to choose from here and it looks like the flex t9 input really is a nice looking keyboard and it's actually very large and the phone does seem to transition uh, decent uh, when turning from vertical to horizontal to the full QWERTY keyboard to the regular uh, again, uh, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about this phone because I did literally just get it in my hands, but just going off the stats alone in terms of internal memory um, and uh, the software and the fact that it's a single core, uh, I would stick for the price point with the LG Motion. Uh, the LG Motion is priced at the same as the CoolPad Quattro. The CoolPad Quattro is coming out with a price of 149 that's 149 so either one of these uh, phones you're gonna have that Android experience but the ice cream sandwich experience with Android to me is just a smoother more refined and uh, user-friendly version than the gingerbread I mean I'm very familiar with gingerbread I've been using it for a very long time but um, I don't know I'm just in love with ice cream sandwich I haven't used jelly bean yet 
Um, as further uh, updates come in about this phone, if there is going to be an upgrade for ice cream sandwich and whatnot, and the more that I play around with the phone, I'll definitely get more information out to you guys. But like I said, if somebody's looking for that larger screen, um, it is a great looking phone, and if you want a larger keyboard, um, then this might be the phone for you. Again, any questions, you can post comments below the video, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.